Hello, lovely friends. Here's a sneak peek of this little blue bird created with the swipe technique. Thank you so much for being here. I so appreciate you, all my members and subscribers, and I hope you're having a good day. I love seeing what you're creating. I love sharing the colors and the techniques that you request. So let's dive in and see how this blue bird was created. I've got a 10 inch diameter circle cardboard disc today. I haven't got a canvas. I'm experimenting to see what it's like on cardboard. Now I have dampened the cardboard on both sides with just a bit of mist spray. So let's have a look to see the colors that we're using today. So I've got my iridescent silver by Pebio. It's one of my favorite iridescent colors. I've got another favorite color, which is the iridescent green blue by Pebio. And I've found that these two together act as a cell activator. I've got some rose, permanent rose by Dale Rowney as well. And I've got the base color, which is a mix of lots of different dark colors, which is a, it's a kind of a dark blue gray color. And it's really, really, really dense and really good. It almost looks black. So I'm leveling up my canvas, getting it all ready. And I must admit with cardboard, I found that it was slightly uneven. So I put a little something underneath to level it up. So first of all, I'm spreading the pillow over the circular canvas, making sure I've got a nice even spread. Do you ever find that when you've got a circular canvas, you go round in circles with your paint? <laughs> when I've got a square canvas, I tend to go around in squares. That's just amusing. So covering it nice and evenly. Just enjoying how the paint's dripping. It's a really nice, smooth consistency. It's the same consistency that I'm using for a lot of my paints at the moment, which is 50% pouring medium and 50% Floetrol as the pouring medium together. And then I add that to 50% paint. And then I thin it with water to the desired amount. And it's just slightly runnier than honey. So when you drop the paint back into the pot, you don't really see a lump, it sort of disappears slowly. Okay, so I'm just evening it up. I just want to leave you some music today, just to enjoy this process. Enjoy the music and reflecting and just being with the painting and the swipe technique. And I'll come back towards the end and show you how the bluebird was created. She was looking at you, thought you were looking at me. Turns out I was wrong, you said I wasn't, but let's agree to disagree. She tells me all of these things about how you were so sweet, but I know because you said the same things to me. 
So swept off her feet
can you see the blue bird yet? So this little blue bird with a pink beak and a few bits of silver around him was such a cutie. It just popped out at me and I was just delighted to have it. And I'm actually going to do another painting in a similar swipe to that swipe I did with the bird as a whole painting and I'm going to do it central just off center so watch out for that one when it comes up so thank you to all my members thank you to my subscribers I really want to know what you're creating I love it when you request colors and you ask for a technique and if you do feel inspired by anything that you see in my videos it's lovely when you can tag me and mention me and I love to do that for other artists as well when I get inspired by them I can't wait to mention them because certain people come to mind straight away when I think of certain techniques thank you so much to those who do already if you enjoyed this bluebird swipe today what a cutie he is take care of you and don't forget your art is a piece of you so take good care of it and if you haven't already subscribed and you like this video, please do so. It's very encouraging. And your subscription, along with your comments, help me to produce things that you enjoy. It's free to subscribe. Have a lovely day now. Take care. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Just wanna be heard They don't ask, speak fast And you wish they'd listen first